today Dance Life is lucky enough to chat with the uber talented Tiana Brown who we did an interview with when Dance Life first launched last year. Uh, she's currently in Australia dancing on Britney Spears Circus Tour. Very lucky to have her back. Uh, welcome back to Australia. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you were last here when you danced for Christine Aguilera in her Back to Basics Tour. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're here for Britney, two amazing artists that you've danced for that you know, any dancer would dream to work for. It's like that dream job. How did you get these jobs? Oh, well, I, I actually don't know. I'm just a person that keeps going and going and going. And you know, the dance industry is hard because there'll be times where you go to auditions and you just keep getting cut and you keep getting cut and you keep getting cut and you're like, okay, well, is this for me? But I have such a passion for dancing that I have to keep going. And I have built a good relationship with Christina from the strip tour. Yeah. So coming back to the Back to Basics with the same choreographer, same team, that's kind of how I fell into that family. Sure. And Jamie King was the director of both those tours. Mm -hmm. So he held the audition for Britney. And it just felt like another extension of my family that I wanted to take a chance with. And I went and I had, I had fun. I wasn't yeah. stressed. I wasn't comparing myself. I was just having fun. I was meeting new dancers. And the next thing I know, Brittany's in the room and they're like, okay, here's the cast. I was like, oh, oh gosh. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of like I was in shock that I got it. But do you think that's really important in terms of when you meet someone and you work for someone, it, you might only work for them once, but you might work for them for the rest of your life. Yeah. That, that first impression and that, I guess, that work ethic that you put towards them and giving right. them your all, how important do you think that is? I think it's very important. I think you could either work with somebody for the rest of your life or someone is going to come back and be in your life maybe five years later. For instance, I'm on a tour right now um, with the hairdresser that was on the Strip Justified tour, but she was on the Justified wow, side yeah, I and now she's that. on this side. So it's like, wow, years have gone by and we've grown up and we're sharing another tour again. So it's like, you, you never know who you're gonna see again. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Amazing, amazing experience, I yeah, guess. Yeah, totally. uh, The Circus Tour has travelled to Perth and Melbourne, mm -hmm. and now it's in Sydney. Mm -hmm. A day in the life of a dancer on tour. Um, what, does that, what does that look like for you? Oh, uh, well, you know, it depends on what time you wake up. <laughs> Do you have late nights after the show? After Is the show, it hard you just for you to so unwind? Much, it's so hard. It's <laughs> you like, so hard. You go to your hotel and you're still running around the room going, oh, I want to do that again. Totally. Or you just want to chat or you want to do something or you watch TV. And so like, like even last night I went to bed at 3 a.m. Comfortably. Yeah. yeah. You know? But um, on a day of a show, we usually pick, get picked up around 3, 3.30, get to the venue, um, kind of mill around a little bit. I'm dance captain, so I have a little bit more to do when I get there. Sure. We have rehearsals on stage for any time that a swing will go in, just to make sure that they know their track. If they have props, you know, in case Brittany is going to encounter them on stage, that there's a comfortability with everybody. Sure. Um, then she comes in and sound checks, and we stand by to make sure if she wants to bring us up and go over anything, but... um. Mostly we're there for support and just to have fun and hear her sing live because it's super fun. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, I have a crew meeting right after that um, with uh, the stage manager and all the crew and my other dance captain and the wardrobe and we just kind of all come together, get on the same page, what happened wrong the last last time and what are we going to fix it for this time and you know get the good vibe, good energy and then yeah. we set the tone. Then I have another meeting with the dancers to relay any message from the crew meeting to their meeting wow. and same as them like okay hey actually you were in the wrong spot for this can you get here for that earlier you know just communication that's I think the key that keeps this tour going is communication but I think insane communication I've had this conversation a lot just at, just yeah. at work and with everyone that I work with it is it that it's so important it's so in important. anything that you do if you don't communicate it how are people going to know right no, for yeah, real. And people appreciate that. I'm sure that they yeah. appreciate you you taking that on board. So you've said that you're dance captain. Yes. Which is probably a lot different. For people that don't know what a dance captain does in a mm -hmm. show for a tour, can you explain a little bit more about that? Uh, dance captains, first of all, are always the person that you kind of are the link between the dance, um, what do you call it? We call it departments. I like to make it okay, official, like sure. the dance department. Yeah. And then you have 
you have crew and you have management and then you yeah. have wardrobe. So we're kind of like the link. So you don't have to go to every single one of the dancers. Like if we need to have a meeting, I have to send out emails. I have to say, okay, we're going to do this today, guys. Or so-and-so is going in for the show. Let's, you know, get on the same page. And then if we have cleaning sessions, it's me and Chase Benz. He's the, he's the other co-captain. Yep. We are the ones cleaning, making sure our department is up to par, that no one can really say anything. Like, well, the dancers yep. are on top of it. So... That's what we really strive for. That's exactly right. Yeah. Um, many young Australian dancers dream of going over to the States and yeah. especially dream of dancing for, you know, major international artists. It's that dream that you, you know, that most people have as a dancer. Yes. But, if, you know, Australians, we don't have a huge amount of pop icons over here mm. that employ dancers to go on tours with them. Um, so that is a dream. What would you suggest would be a tip or some tips for an Aussie wanting to start how would they start? How would they kind of set up for themselves if they were yeah. to go over to the U.S.? Um, well, I do know that a lot of dance teachers come here from L.A. to teach. So if they that do. is an opportunity, they should definitely take it because every style is different. And even if there's nobody coming here, just be in as many classes as possible. And it's sometimes, I hate to say it, but it's about the look. You know, you really have to be presentable. You have to come professional. You have to come with a little bit something different than the next person next to you. And and as long as you kind of have that confidence and you build that, then you will be prepared for L.A. Because even the dance class is a fashion show, <laughs> you know? Well, so you imagine see it what on the YouTube. auditions are. Yeah, you, you do, see right? It on, you know, you go on YouTube and you're like, they're just doing class and look at what they're wearing. <laughs> I, how do they, how I'm do in they awe. dance in that? <laughs> I'm in awe, too, but... That's the way it goes. Amazing. Well, yeah. thank you. Um, you're very passionate about giving back to the dance community, and we spoke about this last year about your Get Down with Tiana Brown workshops that you do. I love that name. Yes, thank you. Makes me laugh every time I read it. <laughs> um, how did you come about creating these workshops? What was your inspiration behind the idea? Well, I was teaching with the other dancers from Back to Basics, yep. and we I just found like a new passion for teaching, and but it wasn't so much the teaching of the industry. It was teaching young okay. kids. It was sure. teaching people who are still passionate about actually being in class. And then I just wanted to do it on my own. And when I was in high school, they always used to say, get down with Tiana Brown. And so I was like, why not keep that? Because one, it's true. Two, it's catchy. And three, yeah. it's me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I kept it. And instead of just teaching, I, I also um, inform the students about what it takes to get into the industry, what they're going to have to deal with. You know, some kids like to go, sh I personally went straight after high school and then others will go through college and then find their way there. And you know, I encourage both. So I'm just the voice to m let the kids know that anything's possible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And kind of to educate them as well, because a lot of people go into it very blinded. Yeah, well, I did. Everybody does. You, you can't even explain it until you experience it. Yeah. You know? Definitely. No, that's great advice. Um, you are here on a Britney tour, so if I didn't ask you about Britney, I'd be in a lot of trouble <laughs> from our from our viewers. Um, yes. What is Britney like to work with? She's great. She's, she's humble, you know? Like, you walk into the room and she'll kind of give you this, hi, and you're like, hi, and she, I mean, she smiles and you melt. That's just hands down. You can't help yourself. You, you'd like to act like that's not true, but it's true. Yeah, yeah. And when she's on stage and she vibes with you, it's fun. It keeps the show like super energetic and, you know, it's just it's a different vibe with every artist that you work with, but I feel because she has a major dance core that she can she's a little bit more in tune with looking at you on stage, you know, yeah. I, it, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Definitely. And I mean, she's brought so many, how many dancers have you got out here? We have 12 dancers that are primarily on the stage. We have two swings and we have two alternates back in LA. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We definitely that's have a, a big that's a, Yeah, definitely. And that's just dancers. We have aerialists, we have karate guys, we have circus, big apple circus. So, and band. So it's, it's literally a circus. Huge show. Great. Thank you for chatting with Dance Life and yeah, good luck for the rest for of the tour. Me. It's okay.